Okay, my friends, welcome aboard. I was asked about the targets. You know, I just take a piece of uh, cardboard, an old piece of cardboard, and a felt pen. And then, lately, I've just been drawing on the face of the nasty warrior. Because remember, there are good Vikings, and there are nasty Vikings. We're the good ones. <laughs> So we make up a target like this. It doesn't cost anything. It's kind of fun. And uh, that's it. Anyhow, back in a minute. Okay, my friends. What I'm going to show you now is the most important thing that you're ever going to find out about aiming an arrow. It's true. And don't forget, Gary Chin taught you this. Nobody else. Gary Chin taught you. Now, we have our two hands, and our two hands are what control the bow, and therefore also the arrow. What they do is very specific. The left hand controls the point of the arrow. The left hand controls the point. I can simply roll it until it's pointing right at the target. The right hand controls the back of the arrow so that if I hold it down so you can see and I move my fingers, you see if I move my fingers left to right, I'm moving the tail of the arrow left to right. That's the most important thing you'll ever learn. If you're trying to line up your arrow, roll on the tip, and now you're looking right along the arrow because the back of the arrow is under your eye, and if the back isn't quite lining up with the front, move your fingers until it does. Okay? So that's the radius. Remember, if you open your fingers, I call it a radius because it radiates, or radiuses, the arrow will point into a different direction. When I'm in the occipital anchor, I just relax my fingers until that arrow is pointing towards the target. It's as simple as that. So between the two of them, the left one controls the tip, put the tip on, the right one controls the back. You can move your fingers until the arrow lines up visually. You let go and you'll do very good. Anyhow, let's go and do some shooting. <laughs> okay, boys, back. Okay, my friends. It's almost impossible to teach people how to shoot a bow in some respects. For instance, you need to concentrate to be able to look at the target and just be alone with it. Whereas if you have friends gabbing and coaches talking and <laughs> your music on, But to clear the mind and be able to concentrate is very difficult. Yeah, you know, you need to be able to concentrate and to clear the mind so that you can go through the steps. Again, this evening, and I'm not going to really point the bow at you. I, I can't 
don't enjoy people that are always pointing the bow at you or pointing the gun at you. But uh, you sort of have to do it sometimes to explain things. But basically, I take a very wide stance. It automatically gets my upper body on, so I don't have to worry about, you know, closed stance, open stance, feet together six inches, and so on and so forth. Uh, but when I put it up and I get some tension on the bow about seven eighths, I can just roll, the left hand will roll on. Now the back comes back and anchors, and in my periphery vision, I can see the back of the arrow. So I've got the, uh, I'm looking at the center of the target, I've got the point lined up, and now in my periphery vision I can just tell, and I can move my right hand fingers, so I, I've anchored back behind my ear, and I just move my fingers until it lines up. But if you don't realize that, you know, but you have these steps that you put the tip on first and then the back. So it starts out with the back on and the tip off. Now the tip's on, the back's off. Now you get the back on. Double check, line it up, and off she goes. And uh, that's it, you know. And, of course, when you do that, you start to, you know, whack them in there. And uh, Mr. McNasty doesn't get in the boat. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, guys. So I can't overemphasize enough the importance of your hands. Much more important than a stance or you know, the way you hold the bow and all that kind of stuff. It's fun. You know, guys, you need to, we're not using indirect aiming, where I aim off the knuckle. I've taught you all that stuff. These days I'm showing you direct aiming. I'm showing you the different steps. That you look at the target, it's the only straight line. You roll the wrist until the tip is on. You get back to your anchor and you see the arrow in your periphery vision back here and you make sure that the back is behind the front simply by moving your finger sideways that it's not collapsing or any of these other things people say that's how you visually aim anyhow I guess I can set up tonight otherwise we'll be making a movie at midnight but you can see that by doing that you know, we got him right on his nose. Nasty, McNasty. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, guys. 
Yeah, I think that in a movie it's best that I only show you one thing at a time, or it gets confusing. So this idea of aiming the arrow and using the left hand to adjust the tip and then using the right hand to adjust the back. It's like a rifle. The tip becomes the front sight and the uh, feathers or not become the back sight. You just have to line it up, just like a rifle. Of course, it depends, you know, on your experience and your ability to see the arrow from the back to the front. Horace Ford said to see the arrow in its entirety from the back to the front. So again, my eyesight, or your eyesight, is the only straight thing. You can roll the tip, and now you've got the target, your tip, and your eye lined up. Now, if the back is not on, you simply move your finger sideways until the back lines up. And now you have the target, the tip, the back, and your eye lined up. Easy to say. Hard to do. It may seem a little too simple for some. But uh, anyhow, when you do that, you know, you'll get your hits and you can pretty much keep them on his nose. Anyhow, that's enough for now. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, guys, I guess that's it for this evening. So again, I want to say that I'm only going to teach you one thing at a time so that it's not confusing. And the big thing tonight is that the left hand controls the tip of the arrow and the right hand controls the back of the arrow. And you just want to line them up so that you're looking at the target with your eye, that's a straight line, you roll that front on, and now you just make sure the back's on, even if you move your hand a little bit. Once it lines up, you're on the road. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that's enough for now. But, uh, you know, you can see that doing this technique, it's uh, really, you know, very consistent. Just popping them right in there. That's all you've got to do. Anyhow, guys, have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.
Bye now.